Mm. Now we may edit. Well, guys, welcome back. Uh, today is Christmas Eve, and the uh, the water is froze up on the cold side. We're starting to get some drips. It's about 17 degrees outside. The hot water side was working. Um, but actually, I forgot. I pulled the fuses out. Because I have a draw on the system. We're trying to just let the batteries charge right now. So I have the inverter turned off. And everything else, I just pulled the fuses. But the crazy thing is, it's still showing that I have like a 7 amp draw somewhere. There's no way for it to have a 7 amp draw. It's not going to anything. So that's really weird. Uh, I've tried getting in to the settings to reset things on there. And I don't remember my password. So anyway. Uh, but another issue that I got today is the drain on the tub is froze up. So I can't take a bath yet. So got to go outside with this heat gun and defrost the uh the drain line so i can get rid of this little bit of water out of the bathtub so i can take a bath so i unplugged this heater right here and i put the cord out the window outside so we can go out there with a the heat gun heat things up and uh get it going again Oh. We're having a heat wave out here. Check this out. That's crazy. I need to probably thaw that out too. Um, that's just from the snow, from me getting in and out of the bus back here. The snow off my boots doing that. Pretty crazy. Uh, you know, it melting off the floor and then going underneath the door trying to get my glove on here all right so i guess let me set you guys down here somewhere so you can watch me probably get soaked by the bathtub i did have that shaped like a j or like a p trap i need to find something to lay on let's see if this heat gun works yeah, it works. All right, I need to find something to, to lay on here. I'm gonna be soaked. I don't wanna be soaked. Piece of leftover in insulation here. So I can have something to lay on underneath here. All right, I guess let's move this so it's not running on that. I don't know why I brought that padlock over here with me. This could take a while. <laughs> yeah, this is like, it's frozen solid. There's the first drip. This is going to take a while, guys. I'm glad this is flexible. Because uh, maybe we can get it loosened up to where it'll finally start flowing. That's my hopes. Let's warm it up some more. If we can get it to start flowing through here, we can turn the hot water on. And... Uh, let it run for a little bit and it should clear it out the problem was I had it turned up like in a J shape so it would hold water in it and I should have thought about that and undone it you know so that uh, <laughs> it wouldn't have froze up like that if I just had it like this it would have been fine probably
So this is going to take a little bit. The things we do to be able to take a bath. Almost got a steady stream going now. Watch it all come out at once on me. <laughs> and then I'll really need to take a bath, huh? I'll need to do my laundry and everything. Which I'm probably gonna have to do anyway. I have to go to work tomorrow, so. I can take a shower in the house, but I want this going, you know? Lesson learned, don't leave this thing turned up. So I had it turned up right here against the frame rail. There's some ice right there, but on it. So it was holding water like a P-trap. Note to self, P-trap should be indoors. Oh, look at that. We have a solid stream coming out. Oh my goodness. All right, I think I'm about to go turn the hot water on. Yeah, it's starting to come out. I don't want to get soaked. There we go. Yay. <laughs> finally. Finally, finally, finally. Alright, I'm going to go turn the hot water on in the tub and uh, get the rest of this ice out of here. That's awesome. I think we'll be able to drain the tub now because I think that just drained the tub. Let's go. Let's get it. So now, oh, I forgot. I got to go put these... Uh, Plug these back in, these fuses. I don't remember which one goes to the... Let's see. That one. That one goes to the water pump. We're at 13.4 volts. So we're getting some charge now. All right. Still got propane heat going in here. It's uh, it's above 70, so not bad. And I'm not even having to run the propane at, at full full steam. All right. Yeah, there we go. Some hot water. Let's slow that down real good. Turn up the flame. That's why it's kind of burnt right there, because I uh, I actually need to do some descaling. That's some nice hot water. Oh yeah, rinse the tub out. me some bath water take me a bath finally you feel like human again uh, I've been freezing my blood off for the last few days so anyways there you go guys there's life in a bus and freezing cold it is it's 17 right now but it was below zero last night it was I don't know how cold but it was really really cold uh, and then the uh, the solar power quit on me and so my diesel heater turned off and so we had to resort to the propane and so I had brought this hundred pound propane tank in so we've been running that uh, this propane heater right here the smaller one it quit on me uh, it's brand new and I talked to my father-in-law and he told me the key to fixing it and he said what it is is I guess whenever they make the coil 
the it's like aluminum tubing coil or maybe copper or whatever when they make that coil it they got it filled full of oil it's like a not so flammable oil or something and it blows a pilot light out and he said i need to take it apart and blow some air through that clean that oil out of that pilot light coil and it'll work great after that and i was like are you kidding me and he goes no he goes for whatever reason at the factory they don't clean that out and it affects a lot of people so anyways we've been running this one right here i've never had that issue with this one this thing right here is over 10 years old i've had that thing for a long long time it's like i've had this uh, 100 pound propane tank for a very long time but uh yeah i've got to get a different wood burning stove for the winter time uh, so much to do this is a learning process but we will have this bus perfected by the time i get it done uh, i don't know exactly how i'm going to do this if i'm just going to leave that like it is i think i'm actually going to rebuild this like drop that down lower uh, because the wood burning stove i'm going to be putting in here is probably going to be considerably bigger and yeah i i don't know i don't know we'll see right we'll see all right guys so we're not producing enough power to keep the diesel heater running um i don't know if it's because the batteries are too cold or what i don't know how to figure this thing out when i connect to the system with my phone it tells me one thing but when i look at the charge controller and the readout screen on it it tells me another thing so i don't know we're gonna look at the uh the solar panels looks like they're covered in frost so they're probably not producing anything so that's my dilemma that's the problem right there that's why we're not producing enough power I had those cleaned off yesterday and apparently uh, it decided to frost up on the solar panel so I've got to figure out a way to to get that remedied I I don't know if I can I bet if I put warm water on there it'd be disastrous uh, I'll probably get some windshield uh, washer fluid uh, use that so it doesn't freeze back up I have some de-icer windshield washer fluid I'm gonna go get that and clean my panels off so I can start producing some power because I don't have hardly anything coming in right now. So, anyways, we'll get that taken care of and see you back here in a minute. Well, I got them uh, defrosted. Used the broom and uh, some Rain X ice melt windshield washer fluid. And uh, my son showed up, he needed to take a shower. Because their water's froze up over there at uh, Grandma and Papa's where he's been staying. The water's froze up. So, anyways. <sighs> it's a brisk Christmas Eve. Check it out. It's like a, a winter wonderland out here. It's quiet. Everything's frozen. yeah hope you guys are having an awesome christmas eve it's freezing cold out here so i gotta go in we'll see you guys on the next one bye